in continuation to the pylon womb mycota the order is uh, pthls i mean as shankar already phd plan pathology so uh, as we discussed earlier that uh, this pylon womb mycota contains eight orders saprolegnials pthls parnospores lirospores leptomitels refidials volpidi epsilon mysocytiopsidals so we have already finished the saprolegnials now we are going to discuss uh, pthls this is general classification saprolegnial saprolegniomycetes the saprolegnial sower now we are going to discuss uh, pthls there is only uh, one important fungi that comes under uh, pthls is uh, pythium as i told you now we are going to discuss uh, the classification of kirketal classification only at the present the pythium is actually classified under parnospores you no need to worry about it that i will tell you in the at the end so this sader pythials was actually created by nwd in 2001 and the diagnostic feature of this uh, all pthls whatever the fungi that comes under the pthls is the production of sporangia on the sporangiophore so this is sporangiospore the production of sporangia on the sporangiophore this is a stalk like structure that is called sporangiopore uh, on the stalk like structure there is a globular structure or bulb like structure that is produced that is called sporangia so the production of sporangia on the uh this uh, hyphae uh, that is actually sporangiophore is the recognizable feature and uh, asexual reproduction uh, takes place by means of juice sporangia and oo spores are produced in the sexual reproduction so this oo spores contains a thick walled uh, structure called oo plast i think what is oo plast what are all the different types of oo plast that i have uh, we have already discussed in uh, saprolegnials let me tell you once again just imagine this is the oo spore inside the oo spore there is a small smooth uh, uh, bubble like structure or ga gas uh, vesicle like structure is present that is called oo plast which is actually solid in this uh, pthls so to have a little bit more understanding on the oo plast generally oo mycota means oo means egg uh, mycota that is a uh, oo uh, oo spore is generally oo means egg spore means spore or Uh, like some kind of uh, reproductive kind of structure right uh, so this uh, oo spore uh, generally produced inside a structure called oogonium that is the reproductive structure that is actually produced by the female reproductive organs right female uh, reproductive structure so this uh, oogonium is the female reproductive structure anthridium is the male reproductive structure so generally this oogonium uh, there is an uh, uh, ooplasm is present like uh, i will tell you as i told you here we can see this is the outer membrane outer cover of the oo spore inside there is small uh, vesicle like structure or some uh, uh, oily globular like structure is present that is called oo plast so that was surrounded by oo plasm so here the term oo plast is uh, not commonly used for uh, oo mycetes instead of that we are using oo spore only generally the arrangement of oo plast may vary in saprolegnia but generally we for the terminology we use it for this uh, pthls and all the uh, oo mycetes group of fungi is a oo spore oo plast is the structure or uh, some bubble like kind of structure or some uh, uh, vacuole kind of structure that is present inside the oo spore generally <coughs> this oo spore is referred as a fertilized or <coughs> fertilized structure Uh, that is formed by the fusion of uh, both male and female gametes male means anthridium female means uh, oogonium so here uh, the type of uh, reproduction in uh, oo mycota is oo gamous type where male and female gametes come in contact with each other and the exchanging of gametes takes place and the fertilization happens where the oo spore is produced so for our understanding i have placed a one microscopic picture also inside a small uh, bubble or uh, vesicle like structure is there right this is called uh, oo plast so that was surrounded by thick layers is right that is called oo spore this entire spore is called oo spore inside there is small bubble like structure a separate kind of structure is there that is called oo plast so now you got what is oo spore and what is oo plast i think so this is a, a elaborated structure of a big microscope we can clearly observe here this is a oo plast the entire structure is called oo spore oo spore is actually covered by a thick layer right so more than double layer or semi multi layered a very thick uh, a wall it will produce around itself to survive unfavorable condition unfavorable environmental conditions where we can uh, also observe a very small anthridium is attached here so once the gametes is passed the anthridium become empty so that uh, i will discuss in uh, Uh, asexual uh, in the reproduction of this uh, pthls 
here there are uh, two main families are present in uh, pithiales pithiaceae and uh, pithiogenotaceae uh, now we are going to discuss only pithiaceae only there is only one fungi that comes under pithiaceae that is a uh, pithium so oh, generally this pithiaceae consists of around 200 species uh, most of them are uh, soil inhabitant which causes a damping of it and couple of uh, uh, root rots also uh, sporangia may vary in shape and generally globos in structure when it comes to pithium the shape of the pithium uh, uh, the shape of the sporangium in pithium is uh, generally globo shape so when it comes to phytophthora it's a uh, lemon shape or a little bit uh, Uh, like like a curved kind of shape can be observed but it is generally called as a lemon shape it is also very important what is the shape of sporangia in pithium or maybe what is the shape of sporangia in uh, phytophthora that is also important generally pithium produces globose kind of sporangia whereas phytophthora produces a lemon shaped sporangia and there is a fungi called uh, lagenidium gigantium uh, which is actually a member of pithiaceae which is parasiting uh, mosquitoes larvae and uh, there are at current uh, there are seven genera at current there are seven genera are present in this uh, pithiales uh, diasporangium lagenidium lucidium and uh, peronophytophthora pithium mysocytium and uh, transherera so among all this uh, genera that we are going to discuss uh, only one genera that is uh, pithium generally causes uh, damping of diseases in uh, vegetables and other diseases also it was caused by but the most important uh, genera that we are going to take into consideration is uh, pithium only so the genus pithium actually was actually created by prinkshim in 1858 the species are uh, generally called as uh, generally grown in water and as well as uh, soil uh, as a saprophytes under suitable conditions uh, they causes uh, diseases like uh, damping up here the damping up is again two types pre emergence damping up and post emergence damping up sometimes we can also uh, it is also reported that uh, food rots and root rots also caused by this uh, pithium species so but this pithium is highly famous for causing uh, damping of diseases there are a couple of species uh, like pithium dibarianum pithium ultimum pithium phanidermatum oleanderum acanthium pithium none these are all the some important species that comes under this uh, pithium so majority of this uh, pithium species are homothallic only so these are all the different kinds of uh, diseases actually caused by the pithium species on uh, various crops uh, just like uh, maybe strawberries soybeans beets uh, strawberry uh, peanuts potatoes uh, and various kinds of diseases it is caused by the pithium but the important disease that we need to take into consideration that i have listed here uh, like a damping up of vegetables which caused by pithium aphanidermatum food rot of papaya pithium aphanidermatum rhizome rot of ginger pithium aphanidermatum and the pithium myriotilium and uh, fruit rot of cucurbits pithium aphanidermatum and pithium butleri damping up of mustard and beet pithium mammaliatum damping up of angiosperms which is generally caused by the various species of pithium aphanidermatum dibarianum ultimum and irregulari these are all the important pithium diseases that we can uh, definitely take into consideration among that what we are going to discuss is uh, uh, generally damping of of vegetables which is caused by uh, various pithium species it is, is reported that pithium aphanidermatum pithium dibarian and various other species of pithium is responsible but generally uh, in eugen pg we used to study this uh, pithium is caused, uh, damping of of vegetables is caused by pithium species especially pithium aphanidermatum and we are going to see the life cycle or in detail about this uh, damping of of vegetables only which is caused by pithium aphanidermatum now this is the life cycle of uh, damping of of vegetables which is caused by pithium aphanidermatum so this pithium aphanidermatum actually comes under domain eukarya kingdom chromistids not comes under fungi right so phylum womycota womycetes order pithiales genus pithium and species is uh, aphanidermatum if you see the symptoms as i told you there are two kinds of symptoms can be observed pre emergence damping of and post emergence damping of so the name itself indicates pre emergence means so the seedlings or the seeds or the radicals will die before emerging from the soil if you are planting a seedling or maybe seed they will die before emerging out from the soil that is called pre emergence damping of which means death of seedlings or seed before emerging from the soil is called pre emergence damping of post emergence means after emerging so the seed emerges out of the soil a little bit right so after emergence of the soil or after emergence from the soil that seedlings got killed so or collapsed maybe toppling over various kinds of terminologies can be referred so that is called post emergence damping of so the, the main reason for this uh, damping of is this pithium species is highly known for the production of a pectinolytic and cellulolytic uh, enzymes which actually degrades the tissue 
so due to the degradation of tissue or tissue maceration by the production of various kinds of uh, enzymes like pyknolytic enzymes and cellulolytic enzymes so we can see this uh, decaying and the toppling over of uh, this is seedlings but remember two kinds of damping off can be observed pre emergence damping off and post emergence damping off which means seedlings die before emerging from the soil is called pre emergence if it die after emerging it is called post emergence and regarding the reproduction i am not going to explain in detail about there are only two kinds of reproduction uh, sorry generally all fungi can reproduce by means of uh, two mechanisms asexual reproduction and asexual reproduction in asexual reproduction generally cenocytic hyphae is generally present so hope you guys know what is cenocytic hyphae so in the general characters of fungi itself we discussed that uh, uh, there are two kinds of hyphae is there uh, septate hyphae and aseptate hyphae septate hyphae means uh, presence of septa in the hyphae so aseptate hyphae means there is no septa or there is no cross walls are present that is called aseptate hyphae otherwise called as a non septate or cenocytic hyphae also uh, here uh, in pithium uh, there is no hostoria will be produced uh, it is reported that there is no hostoria will be produced in the pithium but it is mentioned that a few of the pithium species can produce hostoria but as far of uh, uh, my uh, you know suggestions uh, as far of my knowledge i have uh, gone through various kinds of literature but i never found or never mentioned that uh, this pithium species can produce hostoria but the majority of the pithium species produce no hostoria maybe one or two uh, wild species maybe i'm not sure but uh, as far of my knowledge this pithium produces no hostoria that is also one of the special feature generally if, see, if we see this hyphae is uh, uh, cenocytic which contains no septa or non septate from this cenocytic hyphae only sporangiophore sporangio 4 means a stalk like structure that bears a sac like structure or head like structure is called sporangia inside sporangia spores are produced right so generally the, again there is a specialized character in, uh, in, the, in the life cycle of this uh, pithium pithium cannot produce juice spore inside the sporangia it can produce a specialized structure above the sporangia is known as a vesicle on the picture we can see here a vesicle a specialized structure which is formed above the sporangia that is called a vesicle where all the protoplasm which is present in the sporangia that moves to vesicle in the vesicle only compartmentation will happens and the juice spore production will happens in the vesicle when the protoplasm is present in the sporangia no compartmentation will happen when the protoplasm moves to vesicle the compartmentation will happen and the juice spore production will take place actually takes place in the vesicle from the vesicle juice spores are released and uh, during unfavorable time it is encysted again this uh, favorable time comes uh, the, from this encystment again the mycelia will come and the life cycle continues asexual sexual reproduction sexual reproduction is uh, mainly by means of a gametangel contact type where uh, male gametes called antheridium female gametes called oogonium they are uh, coming in contact with each other and uh, there is a small tube is formed that is called a fertilization tube so from the fertilization tube the exchange of gametes will take place where the male gametes moves to the female gametes and the fertilization will happens and the zygote is that is the egg is formed that is called we are calling oospore here male and female are coming in contact exchange of uh, nuclei will happen once uh, the nuclear content which is present in the anthridium if it is moves to oogonium uh, the anthridium will become empty and the oospore or the zygote or fertilization after fertilization it starts to produce a thick wall around itself that what we are calling it as a, a zygote that the zygote name in the oomycota group of fungi is oospore so this oospore uh, can able to can able to germinate directly when the favorable environmental conditions or that may be survive in the soil as a resting spore so this is how actually the reproduction will happens in uh, pithium so the primary spread is uh, generally by means of uh, juice spores the favorable conditions are excess amount of uh, moisture style stagnation uh, stagnation uh, stagnation and high humidity that actually favors this uh, disease regarding the management uh, raised bed is the best management practices along with uh, soil drenching with the copper oxychloride at the rate of 0.2% and bodomiture also can be recommended for the management uh, seed treatment with uh, trichoderma viridi at the rate of 4 gram per kilogram of seed or maybe therum at the rate of 3 gram per kilogram of seed can be recommended and also spraying of metal oxide at the rate of 0.2% uh, when the cloudy, cloudy weather exists so that is also one of the management practice 
so this is the general uh, life cycle a sporangia is produced sporangia spores uh, and the vesicle formation of vesicle is the special feature where juice spores form and the juice spores are released in system takes place and here a gamete angel contact type where male and female are coming in contact with each other uh, the there is a small tube is formed that is called fertilization tube the gametes moves to the oogonium uh, that is a female reproductive organ so if it is a oomycota group of fungi it is called oogonium if it is ascomycota group of fungi it is called ascogony so generally this uh, oospore is formed after uh, the male content goes to uh, this uh, oogonium uh, they, it produces a thick walled uh, wall around itself it is called oospore it can germinate directly in the favorable environmental conditions and the life cycle continues so generally if you see the juice spore discharge of uh, pythium uh, middletoni sporangium is shortly before discharge this is the sporangium a, a represents b represents uh, inflation of the vesicle begins here and the protoplasm uh, retreating from the sporangium this is actually the sporangium when the nuclear content is present in the sporangium so it is uh, generally like uh, protoplasm only so this protoplasm uh, slowly starts uh, moving into the vesicle right so if it is moves into the vesicle only where compartmentalization takes place takes place there is a special feature actually so this formation of vesicle can only observed in this pythium species so after that what will happen the juice spores escapes from the ruptured wall like after it will move into the vesicle where compartmentalization takes place juice spores are formed and the, with the pressure it will release outside the entire procedure will take around 20 minutes so this entire process will, will take generally 20 minutes in pythium species and uh, these are all the oogonium and oospore of pythium we can see the a is pythium debarianum and uh, pythium middletoni and the c is uh, pythium ultimum and this this is like uh, germination of oospore uh, from uh, pythium ultimum how this oospore uh, can germinate directly when the favorable environmental conditions occur this actually happens the next family is uh, pythiogenotonesi there is only one disease that comes under this family root rot and basal rot of uh, maize which is caused by pythiogeton ZA further more information students can refer this book a vision into plant pathology a complete student version further doubts and clarification student can reach us at www.geekyresearcher.com stay geeky and stay tuned we are team geeky researchers